Almost two years ago, Amelia Clark gave us this wonderful little, I don't know what you want to call it, comic book from Image Comics. Hopes her new comic sparks a conversation about menstruation, a comic book where the superhero gains her powers randomly through menstruation. What mother of madness, a superhero mother who first discovers her powers while on her period. Now, regardless of the concept of this one, what did this lead to? Well, more recently, Whoopi Goldberg makes comics writing debut with the change graphic novel. What change is this? Well, this change coming from coming in November from Dark Horse Comics. If you've watched The View, uh, no I haven't, it's no secret that Whoopi Goldberg is a longtime comic book fan and has used the show to promote and plug the her new fa her favorite things in fandom, has accomplished many things in her illustrious career, given her illustrious You said it twice in two set oh uh, giving her a career in entertainment industry, it's only fitting that the Gol that Goldberg will finally make her comics writing debut with The Change, an upcoming graphic novel by Dark Horse Comics, co-written by Whippy Goldberg, along with writer showrunner Jamie Paglia. The creative team for the graphic novel, blah, blah, blah. What is this comic book about? What is The Change? The Change. Here's how the publisher describes the graphic novel. Isabel Frost is a woman who has spent her life as wife, mother, grandmother, a life she feels isn't all that she had hoped for. That's some pretty damn good accomplishments, a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. What's wrong with that? Huh. With a husband who has grown in another direction. Now that is a damn shame. What happened? A college graduate with a degree in science, Isabel is an amazing gamer who plays with people all over the country, so she has hobbies. With the help of her comic-loving grandson in irreverent best friend, she must learn to control her abilities and embrace her new identity as the change, both the change in life and her surprising and extraordinary powers. Apparently, she gets her powers from menopause. Dark Horse's press release, press release revealed the origins of the project. Because of her lifelong love for comics, Goldberg decided it was time to create a new kind of superhero, one who might be a little older, never been a problem before, whose body might be a little thicker, again, never been a problem before, and whose breath, it says, may or may not be the same size. Oh, this is how you're advertising it. Oh, my God. She is also smack dab in the middle of menopause, which, along with chills and hot flashes, I'm sorry, stop laughing. Stop, stop laughing, manga. Stop it. Demon Slayer. <laughs> stop, stop laughing at Western comic industry. Oh my god, hot flashes and chills also gave her some ex unexpected superpowers. She gets her superpowers from menopause. So we have one superhero. Dear old Whoopi Goldberg here, who gets her superpowers from menopause. And the other one over here, Mother of Madness, which is very appropriate considering she gets her superpowers from her menstruation cycle. So one before and one after. This is amazing. So why am I talking about this? Well, it may come as a giant shock to you, but nobody's going to buy these comics. Because the comic book industry, comic book sales, non-manga comic book sales, have been, throughout history, history, primarily men, boys, male demographic. Guys are not going to buy a comic book about a menstrual cycle or a postmenopausal woman. Or pre whatever. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can go on and on about who is this co comic book for? It's for Whoopi Goldberg. Who is this comic book for? This one is from for Amelia Clark. These are vanity projects that someone sunk a boatload of money into, then they're not going to get anything back on their return, whether you like it or not. As a whole, them ladies, girls, females, they don't buy comic books. I'm sorry, they don't. They buy manga. They buy the romance mangas. Stuff like that. Demon Slayer. Well, Demon Slayer, yeah. 
and far more popular and entertaining stories with action and romance and interesting tales, interesting characters. Comic books? No. I don't understand where these vanity projects are come from. Maybe it's a bucket list for Whoopi Goldberg. This one, let's start up a conversation about menstruation. Um, nobody wants to talk about menstruation. It should not be vilified. There's, there's nothing shameful or embarrassing about it, sure. But to put it in a comic book, that's a little bit much. I don't know. I do wonder, what are the sales for Mother of Madness? What do you think the sales for this beautiful work of art is going to be? Huh? I guess we'll find out in November when The Change Graphic Novels hits... <laughs> It's the comic book shelves in November. I said that twice. Anyway, that's all I've got. Leave a like, leave a dislike. You know the routine. Have a good one.